are expecting to hear final words from both sides of the trial surrounding former ballerina Ashley Benefield. The Lakewood Ranch mother says she shot and killed her husband Doug in self-defense four years ago. Eight on your side's Chloe Sparks joining us live from outside the courthouse in Bradenton with what we can expect today at closing arguments. Chloe. Guys, crime enthusiasts from all over the world are waiting to hear closing arguments from both the prosecution and the defense. Now they can begin once the jury arrives here to the courthouse at about 845 this morning. After a week of trial in the Ashley Benefield murder case, attorneys have one last shot to win the jury over. Today's closing arguments expected to weigh heavy on the decision to determine former ballerina Ashley Benefield's fate. He started coming towards me and then he lunged at me and I started pulling the trigger and he just kept coming. Benefield, a Lakewood ranch mother who claims she shot her husband Doug in self-defense back in 2020. Yesterday, the defense brought in the couple's trauma counselor who shed light on his time with the Benefields. Did you conclude whether there was an intimidation issue present? Ashley stated that she was scared of Doug. In this case, the jury has learned about the Benefields rough relationship history. The prosecution believes Ashley killed her husband over a custody battle for their child. But the defense says Ashley was defending herself after her husband allegedly hit her. The jury was told Doug Benefield has also thrown a loaded gun at his wife and shot into the kitchen ceiling when he was angry with her. The defense questioned a mental health professional on those allegations. Would that be consistent with abuse? Absolutely. And not only absolutely, but those are checked list points right off the Duluth power and control wheel and, and right off my experience, their stereotypical abuse techniques. The defense rested their case at about 430 yesterday. Now, after the jury finishes hearing these closing arguments from both sides, they can begin that deliberation to begin making the final decisions. Reporting live in Bradenton, Chloe Sparks, eight on your side.